Bangalore city has got more than 200 live lakes, out of which all these lakes have been polluted and they have been receiving sewage. So we have been taking rejuvenation. In some of the lakes, we are getting help from NGOs and corporate companies also. For example, Madhepura Lake, which is around 26-27 acres. The major contributor for this rejuvenation is United Way and some of the corporate companies and the technical consultant is CDD. Whatever the budget we had in BBMP was very limited, so we had to approach United Way. United Way has been working in close to about 20-22 leagues in the last about 7 years, 7-8 years. And United Way's uh, roles and responsibilities would be uh, restricted to enhancing the biodiversity of the water bodies, making the leagues more community friendly. One of the key areas where we work is to see how we can get the uh, corporate social responsibility funds which are available can be directed towards rejuvenating the uh, lakes. We decided that uh, you know we will take up Mahadevapura Lake which is abutting the Bagmani Tech Park on the outer ring road of Bangalore and with the help of uh, you know a couple of corporate partners uh, like uh, Emphasis who actually triggered the idea Amazon, Dell, Cyber, uh, all of us coming together and uh, said that okay let's see what can be done. So the key reason for uh, for us to look at Mahadevpura was uh, that we were present in Bagmani Tech Park which is right next to Mahadevpura Lake. I must acknowledge the support uh, that we received uh, from other corporates like Amazon, Cyber and Dell who also came forward and took ownership as a community of corporates to engage with this and to adopt this lake and uh, uh, set up the STP plant. It's an example of collaboration. When it comes to environment, these four companies are showing the way to a lot of other companies. When we were scouting for a very reliable partner in the whole journey, we figured out that uh, uh, it was a pleasure meeting the CDD team. When they came to us, we went about it quite systematically. We uh, understood the objectives of the project to replenish the lake and keep it full throughout the year, leading to groundwater recharge benefits and microclimate benefits and improving the overall aesthetics of the place. Our job was to freeze the capacity of the plant, uh, choose the inlet from which we would draw the wastewater and uh, also collect all the data required to carry on with the overall process design. We are expecting three major outcomes from this initiative. One is improved uh, green cover, uh, improved biodiversity of flora and fauna. Uh, increased um, involvement of the key stakeholders, uh, especially community taking interest in uh, maintaining it in the long run. And uh, third most important is also um, improvement in the quality of water that goes into the lake. The treatment process is called DWATS, which is CDD's approach to decentralized wastewater treatment. Uh, it is primarily an anaerobic treatment system with uh, aerobic kind of post treatment module and in this case uh, that module is gabions and floating wetlands. Uh, what is unique about this process is it's, it's uh, very low on energy consumption, it doesn't require any process energy, it is very low on uh, operator skill requirement, it's a low maintenance kind of uh, system. It is also very robust in the sense that it can take fairly good variations in inflow volume as well as uh, inflow quality. So the major challenge in this project was to actually construct the intake and diversion structure uh, because we are dealing with a live drain where there was continuous wastewater inflow. So we had to create a temporary diversion drain. We also had to integrate this diversion structure with existing structure in the lake. And there was one more surprise that was thrown up when we started working. Uh, we realized that there is a sewage line broken right at the inlet of the lake. And uh, we were asked by BBMP to see if we can integrate that into our uh, project. And we did that integration as more of an unforeseen uh, intervention. Other big challenge on this project was that we had early onset of monsoons. In the month of March, we had some heavy showers because of which there was some breach of the earthen structures. We had to rebuild that and all of that. The coming of uh, you know large number of these migratory birds, a very robust aquatic life in the water, uh, are all indications to say that uh, the project is definitely showing you know, all the success which we had anticipated. The project also envisages operations and the whole design build operate model is really what has been followed with a lot of flexibility that comes with uh, CSR financing. 
Now if this project does well, it would become a very good example for a lot of others to follow. When it gets completed, it would be first of its kind a 1 million litres per day sewage treatment plant which is getting installed in the city. We sincerely, truly appreciate the partnership with all the stakeholders who have come together to make this project a success.